Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Today we take a look at the case of a man who was a hunted Salford fugitive called Ryan McDonald and who was jailed for seven years in his absence. The at the time 20 year old man who was jailed for robbery was on his way to a sentencing hearing at Manchester Crown Court when he was sprung from a prison van by his gang. The hunted escapee Ryan McDonald faced a very lengthy stretch behind bars when the police finally caught up with him. Mr McDonald was jailed for seven years and eight months in his absence for a robbery spree in the Time. He faced more time on top in a separate prosecution for the escape of custody when he is captured. Mr McDonald had pleaded guilty to two charges of conspiracy to rob and aggravated vehicle taking after his gang carried out a string of smash and grab hoists at pawnbrokers and jewellers. He had helped organise a robbery at Mays Jewellers at Salford Precinct on the August the 20th, which netted over £32,000 in valuables, stealing the motorcycle used in the job. Eight days later, he threatened a security guard with a hatchet in a failed bid to rob the money shop pawnbrokers on Deansgate in Manchester. Mr McDonald also pleaded guilty to aggravated vehicle taking, dangerous driving and driving whilst disqualified following a police car chase that took him through 20 red lights in Salford whilst he was on bail. He had spent weeks on remand at Alt Course Prison in Liverpool. At the time, he was sprung from the vehicle on Regent Street along with another prisoner, Stevie McMullen, who was due to go on trial in connection with a separate robbery allegations. Jailing Mr McDonald, Judge Robert Atherton said that when he was working out his robbery sentence, he took no account of his escape, which will be dealt with separately. Quoting from a probation service report, the judge added, Ryan McDonald is a young man who lives a life funded by crime. He does not work, preferring to fund his lifestyle by criminal activities. Two of Mr McDonald's accomplices were jailed in the same hearing. They were sentenced via video link from prison where they had been held in a high security prison in the wake of their friend's escape. Jordan Aston, who's 22 of Wesley Court, Salford, admitted conspiracy to rob and was jailed for seven years and two months. Jordan Jones, who was 19 of St. Simon Street in Salford, also admitted conspiracy to rob and dangerous driving and was jailed for 42 months. In a robbery on September the 19th at Albemarle and Bond pawnbrokers, Jordan Aston threw a sledgehammer at an elderly man who challenged him by shaking his walking stick. A member of the public threw a traffic cone at Mr. Aston as he fled on the back of a motorcycle with over £10,000 of jewellery. Judge Robert Abberton praised the two members of public and the security guard who challenged Mr. McDonald in the Deansgate raid. There has obviously been a considerable amount of police work and they ought to be commended. I would also like to express publicly my appreciation to those members of the public who took such an active part in trying to stop the people bent on criminal activities. Stevie McMullen was part of a vicious gang of robbers who posed as police officers to dupe beat and rob innocent members of the public. They struck at least 10 times in a seven week period in Greater Manchester and West Yorkshire using shocking levels of violence on their victims. The gang dressed in police uniforms that included stab vests and utility belts with handcuffs and radios. They even had warrant cards. During the most shocking strike, two bogus police officers pulled up outside the door of a flat in Caddishead in a black Ford Focus. They told the occupier they were arresting him on behalf of customs and excise, even though he had paid all the taxes that he owed. Referring to the victim by his first name, he was handcuffed and told they would be taking him to Lee Police Station. They stole £5,500 in cash and two designer watches from his house before they took him to a house in Claremont Drive in Little Halter. There, the victim still suspected he was under lawful arrest until another man shouted, you are being robbed. When he ran towards one of the bogus police officers for help, they told him, yeah, you're being robbed. A man with a knife pacing up and down said, shall I stab him, before the victim was beaten unconscious. When he came around, the tip of the knife was pushed against his eyelids while a member of the gang urged a colleague to stab him, prompting the knife man to respond, I'm not going down for murder. During an ordeal that lasted six hours, the victim managed to raise a further £2,000 in cash. The flat was torched as the men fled and their victim was dumped nearby. In another robbery, 
One of the gang used a hunting knife to try and cut off the genitals of a victim and the barrel of a shotgun was used to sexually humiliate him. A kettle was boiled and he was told he would be melted if he failed to get the cash. Mr McMullen played no direct part in the violence the court heard, although he had acted as a driver for the gang, fetching provisions when required. He claimed he only helped out to repay a drug debt. However, when the police finally caught up with Ryan McDonald and Stevie McMullen after the escape from the prison van, the judge handed both of them very lengthy jail sentences. Stevie McMullen, who was 32 at the time, was jailed for 25 years, and Ryan McDonald, who was 21 at the time, was also told he should serve 20 years. They were being sentenced along with 11 other members of a Salford gang at Minshall Crown Court. The pair was sprung at gunpoint by an armed gang as the pair were being transported through Salford. Shock rushed our motorists, were threatened with axes, and told to back off while the front window screen of the van was smashed before a terrified security guard was ordered to open the cells. Mr. McDonald fled as a pillion passenger on board of a stolen Yamaha R1 motorcycle whilst Mr. McMullen and other gang members fled in a Saab. Mr. McMullen was taken to a safe house in Bolton and later fled to Spain. Police later released dramatic CCTV footage of the attack on the prison van as part of a huge manhunt. Mr. McMullen was eventually arrested in Spain a year later. The escape plot started to unravel when police found the jacket and mobile phone of a a man who had ridden the Yamaha motorbike away from Salford. Analysis of the phone led the police to identify the biker and 10 other members of the gang. While in prison, Mr McMullen and Mr McDonald had access to a variety of SIM cards and mobile phone handsets the court heard. Police established that one handset was used as the escape phone and analysis of the calls led to them to the other gang members. Before he was sprung, Mr McMullen had been due at Manchester Crown Court charged with conspiracy to rob whilst Mr McDonald was due to be sentenced for unconnected offences of conspiracy to commit robbery. This was a well-organized, sophisticated conspiracy orchestrated from inside prison with the use of illegally held mobile phones. The conspiracy was organized by both Stevie McMullen and Ryan McDonald. They each recruited their close criminal associates to put into action their plan to escape. The Crown Prosecutor Kim Whittlestone said, The pair was sprung from the van as it made its way along Regent Street in Salford from HMP Alt Course, Merseyside on April the 30th. The gang was armed with a pistol, a shotgun, a sledgehammer, crowbar, hatchet and a hammer. Mr McMullen of No Fixed Abode was convicted of conspiracy to escape, conspiracy to possess an imitation firearm, conspiracy to rob and conspiracy to kidnap an arson. Mr McDonald, also of No Fixed Abode, was convicted of conspiracy to escape and conspiracy to possess an imitation firearm. While he was on the run, he was jailed for seven years and ten months for the series of robberies. Thank you for joining us today. What are your opinions on the crimes committed by Ryan McDonald and Stevie McMullen? Do you believe being sentenced to 25 and 20 years for conspiracy to escape prison was too harsh or not harsh enough please let us know what you think in the comments below thank you for joining us today if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to like and share and if you're new to the channel and want to see more street crime uk content hit subscribe and press that bell so you can join us on the next video thank you for joining us and until next time stay safe